The end of lithium P3. Elon Musk revealed all new shock battery tech. Change entire industry. Hold on to your seats if you haven't heard the news because we have some groundbreaking information to share. Elon Musk, known for disrupting entire industries, has revealed an all new shock battery technology that will change the lithium P3 game forever. Today, we're talking about the future of battery technology and how Elon Musk's latest revelations will change the game. This is huge news for the entire industry, and we can't wait to share all of the details with you. Get ready for the future. Lithium ion batteries, which power your phone, laptop, and almost every rechargeable device you own, may not have much longer to live. Experts are working hard to find a safer, more efficient, and less expensive way to power our gadgets and EVs. This is because of many bad things, such as high-profile battery fires, environmental concerns, and the rising cost of namesake material. Tesla quietly said that nearly half of its cars in the first quarter of 2022 would have lithium iron phosphate, LFP, batteries without cobalt. Tesla's $19 billion in sales and CEO Elon Musk's acquisition of social media platform Twitter overshadowed the news. LFP batteries are not new, but are used less outside of China. Benchmark Mineral Intelligence, BMI, says that only 3% of electric vehicles' batteries in the U.S. and Canada and 6% in the European Union are based on iron. In China, on the other hand, 44% of the EV market comprises of LFP batteries. Elon Musk has hinted that Tesla will use more cobalt-free cells in more products. Currently, Tesla's base vehicles use LFP batteries. Given how productive Tesla is and how much it affects the market, it wouldn't be surprising if other EV makers started looking into using LFP batteries in their cars. Funny enough, it looks like Elon Musk has become a sort of Iron Man, making a big difference in how LFP batteries are used. Reuters' reviews of the EV market shows that Tesla is not the only company that likes LFP batteries. Reporters say that more than a dozen companies are considering building LFP battery cell plants in the U.S. and Europe in the next three years. And likely, things will only get better from there. The founder of a U.S. battery company called Our Next Energy, Mujib Ijaz, said that LFP batteries have a future in EV industries. Tesla's plan will lead to a success in the electric vehicle market. It's called the 4680 battery cell because it's 46 millimeters in diameter and 80 millimeters tall. Elon Musk told the world at Battery Day in 2020 that the 4680 battery would make many good things happen. It will hold more energy than any cylindrical battery cell on the market. This will make it possible for electric vehicles to go further between charges. It will also cut the cost of making batteries by 50% or more. This will make electric cars more affordable. The important thing about the 4680 battery is not its size, but how it's made. Musk and Tesla think the new dry electrode process will be used to make the new battery. During production, a wet slurry of chemicals is spread over the anode and cathode of a modern lithium ion battery. Before the process can move on, the coat has to dry, which takes up a lot of space in the factory and uses a lot of energy. Since that slurry contains chemicals you don't want to get into the air or groundwater, you must get them back as part of the drying process. If the process's wet part can be removed, the size of the battery factory will shrink by a lot. The amount of energy needed to make batteries will drop by a lot, and there will be no need to recover harmful chemicals. The results will be cheaper batteries, which the world needs badly if it wants to switch to electric transportation. This is easy for a company with some of the best engineers in the world. After all, Musk's other company, SpaceX, has taught rockets to fly backwards and land on a barge in the middle of the ocean. However, perfecting the dry coat process is taking longer than expected. In 2019, Tesla bought Maxwell Technology, a company that made dry coating for supercapacitors. This is where the story starts. Musk has boldly said that the 4680 batteries will be made soon, and they're already being put in some Model Y cars at the Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. But even though those batteries look different than the 2170 batteries used in most of Tesla's production cars right now, they are made using the same tried-and-true wet slurry process. Even though there are some benefits, for example, 
They're being put into structural battery packs that are a little bit lighter. The benefits that were supposed to come from perfecting a dry coating process haven't happened yet. Panasonic has a pilot production line for the 4680 going in its factory in Wakayama, Japan, and plans to start mass production later in the fiscal year that end in March 2024. It is also building a battery factory in Kansas. CTO Soichio Watanabe says the company will first focus on making 2170 cells, but will eventually switch to making 4680. LG said last year that it planned to open a new 4680 production line in the second half of 2023 at its Ochang plant in Korea. Tesla is trying out the dry coating process at a pilot factory in Fremont, California. Sources told Reuters that the energy destiny goal for the first generation 4680 cells made in Fremont still need to be met. So far, the process for dry coating the anodes is going well, but the company is still having trouble dry coating the cathode, which is where the most significant improvements are expected to be made. To start making the long-awaited Tesla Cybertruck, getting the 4680 batteries right is important. Reuters says the company thought about using both traditional 2170 batteries and LFP batteries in that vehicle, but has decided to use dry coated 4680 cells instead. People say the lack of these cells is why the Cybertruck has yet to be mass-produced in large numbers. Sources who asked not to be named told Reuters that Tesla has signed agreements with China's Ningbo Ronbei New Energy and Xingso Dongsheng Precision Manufacturing to help reduce the cost of materials as it ramps up production of 4680 battery cells in the United States. This will help move the dry coating technology forward. One of the sources said that Tesla has also made a deal with Korea's LNF Co. to get high nickel cathodes for its 4680 cells. These cathodes could increase the amount of energy in each cell. Two sources told Reuters that Tesla's next set of 4680 cells would have more than 90% nickel cathode. When and if Tesla figures out the dry coating problem, it plans to make 4680 batteries at or near most of its factories worldwide. It will also get batteries from partners like LG Energy Solutions and Panasonic. Elon Musk said that Tesla will make 20 million electric cars a year by 2030. But for that to happen, the company will have to make models that cost less. The dry-coated 4680 battery is a key part of lowering production costs so that the company can make these cheaper models while still making money. When Musk makes a promise, you should always take it with a grain of salt. Tesla's wild claims usually only come true for a few years, but they usually do in the end. Older readers may remember hearing stories about World War II veterans who were proud of reaching goals that seemed impossible and would say, the hard we do right away. It takes a little longer to do the impossible. We can't wait to see how this new development will shape the tech industry future. What do you think about this new battery technology? Are you excited about the future? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more exciting news and advancements.